Not very many founder CEOs have the benefit and opportunity to have an 18 year history followed by a fantastic exit. You sold your first business, HyperWallet, to PayPal for $400 million. That doesn't happen very often. But now, now you've started Fispan and you're in the same industry, re reinventing the, uh, the, the technology there again. Lisa, what did you learn out of that first incredible 18 year journey? What were the biggest lessons learned? When you're actually building your business and you know running it and showing up every day and doing battles, you're a nothing burger, but that's when you're actually building a business. So, you know, one of my lessons learned is um, when I didn't have any options, I just showed up every day and just waited for my waited to get a better set of cards. And and that really was the story of HyperWallet. Okay, when you think about that first 18 year experience and the successful exit, what is fundamentally different this second time around with Fispan? With HyperWallet starting in the year 2000, access to capital was, basically it was non-existent. So on the one hand, I'm super proud of what we were able to achieve with very you know, small amount of capital. The ecosystem was completely different, but that meant it took 18 years for that journey to get completed. So now when we fast forward to you know, 2016 when I started Fivespan, um, the funding environment and my goals for the business is you know, actually to create a bigger business in a smaller amount of time. And so you know, I was able to fund it myself partially, but also able to go out and tell the story a little bit more effectively and to a broader audience. And so you know, really happy to get the support of the growing venture community, including BDC. That's fantastic. And now you're on with Fivespan. What's that all about? So around 2012 at HyperWallet, we started engaging with really modern marketplace companies. And you know, we had a specific fintech payment service that we were selling to those modern marketplace companies. And what I saw was competing against the banks as a full-stack fintech um, really what our secret sauce was APIs and integrating with the workflow at businesses. So what Fizeban sets out to do is provide um, the capability for banks to act like a fintech and better serve their business customers. Uh, banks acting like a fintech sounds like an impossibility. So how do you make that work? Well, what we think is, again, my thesis um, on Fizeban was that banks have fundamentally superior underlying products you know, a better loan product, better payment rails, better cash management services. But what they typically lack is, you know, these delightful user experiences and um, critically what I think is access to actionable customer data. So Fizeband's thesis is meet the banks where they are today, integrate with their existing products and services and provide them with those two missing elements, delightful user experience and customer data. And one of the things you talk about is helping banks evolve from being purely a custodian of money into becoming a custodian also of customer data. What do you mean by that? I think that that's probably the most important thing to recognize, that banks have this trust, this existing trust, and the most valuable asset of the future is going to be data. Money is a consequence of data in the future. And so entities that can position themselves to be trusted custodians of data, I think are very well positioned to, to move forward and prosper. I believe that businesses want to take people, spreadsheets, and paper out of their back office. And that the primary financial services consumption channel of the future is accounting and ERP applications. Businesses don't want to rekey things into bank portals. So by connecting up banks in a really integrated, delightful way with accounting and ERP applications, there's an opportunity for as much data to traverse from the business to the bank as there is from the bank back to the business. And that's what we seek to enable.